peeking through the blue sky in the middle of a sunny fall day. Viewer video appears to capture a meteor high above Connecticut. The annual Orionid meteor shower is expected to peak Friday night into the wee hours of Saturday. But as Ken McLeod explains, people from Western Mass to Weymouth got a rare daytime display this afternoon. Matt Galvin admits even his kids were skeptical. It was neon blue. Uh, neon green and turquoise, just a big streak, and it just went shush. He's talking about something he and many others saw rocketing through the New England sky this afternoon at exactly 3.01. Boom, it was gone. It was maybe five seconds. Gone so fast that this is the only social media image we can find of it, a fleeting glimpse from a home surveillance camera in Connecticut, hardly doing it justice. Well, the meteors people see in the sky at night can be spectacular, but to see one during the daytime is extremely rare. Ron Danowitz at the Clay Observatory in Brookline believes today's phenomenon was part of the ongoing Orionid meteor shower, where debris from the famed Halley's Comet makes its annual bombardment of Earth, an event that peaks this weekend. Meteor showers generally grab a nighttime audience. Many are no bigger than specks of sand burning up in the atmosphere. So to put on a big show during broad daylight, it'd have to be much bigger. And even something the size of a golf ball or your hand going at 150,000 miles an hour as these meteors often go, put on a spectacular display. So spectacular that many witnesses thought it was a crashing plane or some space fireball certain to pound this planet. It was amazing. It was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. But by the time Matt and others even thought about grabbing their cell phone cams, it was history. At that speed, you could drive from Boston to New York in five seconds. Matt Galvin's family and friends are believers now, and he just considers himself lucky to have caught a glimpse. I bought a lottery ticket immediately. And it's a good bet, say experts, that despite how close it looked, that meteor burned up long before it hit the ground. In Hingham, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.